Hi everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can navigate around the Kidsoft Information Center. When you first log into Kidsoft, you will always land on the Information Center homepage. On the left-hand side, you will have what we call the Kidsoft newsfeed. This will include all updates that our Kidsoft customer success team will share with you. This will include tips of the week, government updates, new feature releases, blog posts, reminders, and any other important information. Some posts may be relevant, all may be relevant, but it's best to take a look each time you see a new news post. Depending on your user role access, you can also use this as an internal news post for your service. So you may wanna communicate between a center manager and an assistant manager, for an example. To do this, you can click on news posts and you can complete the mandatory fields. On the right hand side, you will have your notifications under their subheadings. For example, anything in relation to CCS or your personnel, you will receive up the top. Any customer success help desk tickets, you will receive under your messages. If you're using iDebit Pro, it will show you how many payments are processing or have processed and the value. And depending on your user role access will determine which notifications you will see. This includes suspensions, surcharges, I enroll waitlist notifications, payment notifications, booking notifications, etc. You will also see your debtors, and this is in relation to your payment settings. So if you have your payment settings for current week plus one week in advance, this is the total value of your debt within that period of time. You will see your attendances, so if there are any waiting for submission, processing, or you're overdue with errors. Using for your eye check-in, if you've got any children that have missed sign in and out records. You will see your reminders, regardless whether this is Kidsoft automatic reminders or if it's reminders that you have created yourself. Any medical condition expiries immunisation reminders, enrolment checklist reminders, etc. All of these notifications have a hyperlink, so you can click on that notification and it will take you straight to that applicable page to be able to complete that action. From this page, you also have the help icon. So each page in Kidsoft, it also has the help icon it allows you to read the help document that's applicable to the page that you're on and you can also ask a question to our friendly Kidsoft customer success team. By clicking on your username up the top, it allows you to update your details, your email address and reset your iCheckIn pin and password if applicable. And you can also see your notifications and your messages from the help desk at the top. And you can access the help desk by clicking on the help desk menu. And this will take you straight to the menu page where all of your help documents are stored, allowing you to search for a specific item. If you have any further information in regards to our Kidsoft Information Centre, please do not hesitate to reach out to the Kidsoft Customer Success Team. You may also like to look at our additional video tutorials in our YouTube channel for more tips on Kidsoft. Thank you.